Welcome here again to Motorrides guys. My name is Amit and this is the channel where you get the no nonsense in depth review of all the latest cars and bikes in India. And today I am behind the steering wheel of the second generation all new Mercedes Benz GLC 300 4Matic. Now in its second generation, a lot has changed in its car and I'm going to tell you everything about its exterior and the features and everything else but at this point, I need to talk about the engine and how this car feels from behind the steering wheel and must I say, despite being a family car, it has a sporty character to it This is a 2-litre turbo petrol engine and it comes with an integrated starter generator which is capable of enhancing its power by up to 23 HP and at its maximum capacity, this can enhance its torque by a whopping 200 Newton meters and that really reflects in the way this car moves To start off, the 0 to 100 km per hour is taken care of in a really quick 6.2 seconds which is really respectable It comes with a diesel engine as well So on this car, the power output is 258 HP plus the 23 HP which is provided by the ISG and the torque here is 400 Newton meters on the petrol and it can enhance that by up to 200 Newton meters so it does feel really really quick and what's icing on the cake is when you put it in sport the sound from the engine is just amazing it has a very nice sporty tone to it and as I mentioned, although this is supposed to be a family car, it has a very sporty character to it. The engine is always keen to rev and while it has very good tractability from 1200 rpm onwards, it has a ton of torque but it's really after 3000 rpm all the way to 6300 limiter where you have a massive wave of power as well as torque to ride on and it really is very very exciting to drive this car. And the ever able 9G Tronic which has evolved massively over its first iteration now is very quick, very sensible and keeps you in the right gear at all times. Now it comes with a 4-wheel drive system, the 4Matic and it really enhances the grip on the wheels at all times. You really feel very very secure especially while you're driving hard around corners. You can feel the leech-like grip from the tyres, the 235 section 19-inch wheels and there is never like in the real world conditions unless you are really gunning it and really going bonkers over corners there is never a squeal or a scream coming from the tyres so the grip from the tyres and the system, the all-wheel drive system really inspires a lot of confidence now the road up to Humpy has been freshly laid out it's a serpentine road, the G20 summit happened here and it's an immaculate condition just the perfect road to drive this kind of a sporty car and I really drove it to my heart's content I drove it hard and I was very pleasantly surprised to see a family car like this driving so beautifully with such fantastic grip it's going to be great on precarious conditions as well like if you're driving in the rains or in snow an all-wheel drive system or a four-wheel drive system is always handy and I always love the sense of security and grip that an all-wheel drive system provides and the Mercedes GLC really shines in the way it handles the road at speed so as I mentioned it has a sporty character to it the engine is fantastic the power is amazing it also comes with a diesel engine where the power is 197 HP it's less than uh, the petrol the torque there is more it's 440 Newton meters 40 Newton meters more than the petrol and the 200 uh, nm boost with the ISG is available there as well the 0 to 100 time there is slower however the fuel efficiency as you would imagine is much higher on the diesel so while the petrol has an ARAS certified fuel efficiency of 14.7 kilometers to the liter the diesel nudges 20 at almost 19.5 kmpl both are mated to the 9G Tronic and you'd really enjoy driving the petrol we don't have the diesel here but the engine, just listen to the sound of it it has a very sporty character to it, the sound is beautiful it has a very nice sporty car bubble to it and apart from the fact that the steering while it's very well weighted, it has good weight to it it isn't exactly neutral and full of feedback, feels a little bit artificial not as involving as say that of the BMW X3 M40i but apart from that the grip from the tyres as I mentioned is fantastic, makes you feel very very secure, has a very sporty, very very reassuring feel to it 
In the real world, the fuel efficiency that you'll get on the highway is about 13 to 14 kmpl. Within the city, you'll get about 8 to 9 kmpl on the petrol. Diesel, real world fuel efficiency, I cannot really let you know. But the version in India has been jacked up a little bit to deal with the bad roads that we have. It also comes with an off-road mode. And this car also comes with a transparent bonnet feature where you can see what's underneath the car using the front camera. So it's a relay of the picture from the front camera which shows you what's underneath the car and you can actually see the tires of the car in real time over the surface so you don't really need a spotter like if you're going mild off-roading you would not require a spotter to know where exactly the wheels of your car are placed so while this is not an off-roader but if you're going off the road in certain precarious conditions where there are stones or something you can actually navigate this car without a spotter so that's really great apart from that as you can see here you can choose from a variety of modes and you have this off-road mode you have eco mode comfort sport and this one is the individual mode which can be completely customized to your choice now while this is very sporty and on a well paved highway like this one you won't have any issue whatsoever I've been enjoying myself in fact you'd enjoy yourself from behind the steering wheel and in the front passenger seat more than at the back seat because as long as the road is very well laid out it's a bitumen or a tarmac road or even a cement one like this it's fantastic even on the b roads at moderate to fast speeds this car is fantastic but the moment you have to go over sharp ridges bad speed breakers or broken roads there is vertical movement because as i mentioned the suspension on this car is on the firmer side so if you're talking about outright comfort then probably this car is not the best out there. I'm not saying it's completely uncomfortable, but if you're going over bad surfaces, if you're going over broken roads, which are not paved for this kind of a premium product, there is vertical movement. And in my opinion, that movement is a little bit more pronounced in the back seat than in the front seat. So all in all, it's a fantastic car. I love the engine, the transmission, the fuel efficiency is also class leading. It also has fantastic uh, cabin space very very well equipped while you're sitting here the visibility is fantastic there is no other car in this segment that gives you this kind of an interior these kind of features so all of that is typical mb class leading it uh, also features the newest generation of mbux and the latest telematics all of that is fantastic the only thing is that despite its fantastic engine despite its power and torque it doesn't hit the bullseye in terms of involvement. It's very engaging, yes. But the BMW X3 is slightly more engaging. And then when you have roads like this, which are completely broken, the suspension can feel a little bit more stiff than ideal, especially for a family and especially if you're sitting in the back seat. But apart from that, what an experience. It's really an amazing car to drive and you'd want to get behind the steering wheel over and over again. Now, since the suspension is firm, the body roll is very well contained and you can really enjoy yourself checking this car around a set of twisties. Another important aspect pertains to safety and when it comes to Mercedes cars, they are makers of some of the safest cars on the planet and this one is no exception. It comes with seven A bags. It comes with pre-safe, uh, which on detecting an imminent collision uh, does a lot of things to make sure that you're safe, winds up the windows, uh, tightens the seat belts, uh, the headrests are in proper position so all of that happens uh, before the collision so that you are completely safe apart from that there are a lot of other safety features as well it comes with blind spot assist active parking assist it comes with a 360 degree camera it also comes with the famous attention assist it also comes with active brake assist which can actively apply brakes on detecting an imminent collision Apart from all of that, it also comes with lane keep assist, although this car doesn't have a full suite of ADAS features. All in all, one of the best equipped cars in the segment. And not just that, if you look at the interior, it also is one of the most tech heavy and the most premium as well. So what you're looking here are the ruins of the Vijayanagar Empire, what's also known as Hampi, and this is a UNESCO world site. At one point in time, this used to be the richest city in the world, a symbol of opulence and so is a Mercedes car as you would know and in its second generation now, the GLC looks even more opulent and as you can see, it carries on the organic, very round lines of the Mercedes GLC that uh, it succeeds but it has grown in size now, it's 60 mm longer and in its class, it's now one of the longest cars along with the X3. 
Not just that, it has also grown in its wheelbase and it's now longer by 15 mm which makes it the longest wheelbase in its class and it has really liberated a lot of cabin space. So all of that has made it grow in size and now it looks properly a big SUV with a lot of space inside. Now it gets a very beautiful avant-garde grille with this big Mercedes logo and chrome embellishments along with this satin silver finish. You also have this chrome skid plate a 360 degree camera, front parking sensors and these DRLs which merge with the radiator grille. The LEDs as I mentioned are smart lights and this car isn't as imposing as some of the other cars but it has a very nice solid elegance about it. It does look very organic, very nice and when it passes you it has that air of Mercedes elegance about it which is also desired especially in the Indian context. Coming towards the sides, you have this really beautiful looking 19 inch wheels, 235 section tires and you have about 190 mm of ground clearance by the looks of it, although it has not been mentioned, but I understand that this is about 190 mm. You also get this beautiful running board as standard. A note here, this car comes in only one option. so. You have only one fully loaded variant, you don't have multiple variants of this car. So whatever I'm showing you right now will be available on the car that you order. You have a 360 degree camera, LED trafficators, roof rails, a panoramic sunroof. Although you don't see a shark fin antenna here, it's a clean roof. And it also gets this really beautiful satin silver surround for the greenhouse area. It does look very nice, organic and elegant from the side as well. And coming towards the rear, the tail lamp design has also been changed and as you can see it has a very flowy very organic look to it it also gets this stubby spoiler and the theme from the front has been carried over at the rear also in this chrome skid plate these exhausts that you see here are four units they are not real and the real exhaust sits right here now open the boot it's a powered unit of course and you'd be greeted by one of the most voluminous boots in its class, 620 liters of boot space, which is more than enough to take your family out for a very long holiday. And this has grown by 70 liters. So this has become one of the most practical cars in the segment. And if you want to buy it for family and go for long holidays, it really lends itself very well now. Not just that, here you also have this remote seat collapse and the seats can also be split 60, 40. So once you drop the seats you have a massive volume to move houses and that really adds to its practicality the 60 40 split seats further enhance the versatility of the loading capacity and if you're traveling with three people you can actually drop down one of the seats and carry all the luggage it comes with a space saver spare and the top speed specified is 80 kilometers per hour you'll see that there's a 48 volt battery which allows for the mild hybrid system which gives it uh, the additional power and torque that I talked about earlier. The illumination is right here and you also have a 12 volt power socket along with that you have some hooks for your bungee cords if you want to stop your stuff from rolling around in the loading area. You also get this parcel shelf and you can draw it or have it folded again as per your requirement. All in all, the Mercedes GLC has a very understated, elegant, yet very robust feel to it. Time now to get inside the cabin because that's where the real wonders of this car are and it's loaded to the brim with technology and the interior is the classiest of them all. So before we get inside, let's have a look at this key. It feels very solid, it's built very nicely, one of the nicest keys that you'll find on any German cars. And you have this lock button here with the three-pointed star, you have the unlock button and of course you have the boot release button. But the missing feature here is that you don't have proximity sensors so you really have to take the key out and unlock the car to get inside. And once inside, as I mentioned, this interior will simply blow your mind away. Now before you get in, you would be greeted by the leather upholstered door panels. All of this is soft to touch, although the lower part of the door is hard. This is a really cavernous space so you can put a one and a half litre water bottle. You have the boot release button here and one of the speakers of the beautiful 15 speaker 710 watt Burmester system is right here. Not just is this a beautiful sounding system but the speakers are also like a work of art and add to the aesthetic of the cabin. And here you have 
a three-way memory function for the powered seats and all of this is very elegantly done some of the nicest controls on any of the cars here you have the controls for the windows and you also have the controls for the mirror and the fold function the door lock and unlock buttons are here and here you have the door pull this car also gets heated seats at both the ends in the front the seat height is almost ideal and you have this beautiful mercedes benz emblem here which is lit all of this is standard dead pedal and you also have these really nice pedals here electronic parking brake sets here the light controls are here and then the turbine inspired ac vents have a very nice click to them they are very solid and very functional as well now the cabin that you see here this entire theme is inspired by the mercedes maybach s class and it does look really really rich it has these two big screens this is 12 inch plus this is 11.9 inches and these are two of the highest resolution some of the most functional and feature packed screens and cabin in its class let's explore the wonders of this cabin one by one but before we do that you would do well to know that this car comes with this electric four way lumbar support and the other great thing about this car is that all the controls that you see here for the driver are there for the passenger as well so that's a great feature to have now the upholstery that you see here is in beige but you can also have it ordered in black or brown according to your requirement or choice and just look at this interior it it's absolutely mind blowing this is 11.9 inches of screen this is 12.3 inches of screen and the functionality here is absolutely mind boggling here you have the latest iteration of the mbux and the latest telematics system as well and it's loaded with features and not just that it's also very easy to operate as well so here you can choose from a variety of themes and as you can see i can choose from understated sport classic navigation assistance and off road modes and there's a service mode as well now in the off road mode you'd also get to know a lot of information about your car like the angle of pitch the angle of tilt and a lot of other information as well now that's not just it once you choose the off road mode from here and hit the camera button and move at speeds less than 8 km per hour what you'll be able to see is the transparent bonnet mode which would be able to show you what's underneath the car and not just that you would also be able to see the exact position of the car's wheels which is a fantastic feature in case you're driving alone and you don't have a spotter so for going off the road this is a fantastic feature it also shows you your direction as well as your altitude you also have as many as 5 modes to choose from and you can choose from it very very easily and all the car settings are available at the flick of a button which also includes the car wash mode where the mirrors are folded and all the glasses are wound up the car also comes with active lane keep assist and all of these features are very easily accessible it also comes with a 64 color ambient light system and the entire ambience of this car in the night when all the lights are on is absolutely smashing now not just that in terms of practicality and spaces also this car has a lot of space and as you can see here you have a ton of space it comes with a wireless charging right here two usb sockets there is space for other things here and two adjustable cup holders which can either be used as cup holders or as just storage spaces and there is this geared cover which comes on really smoothly and then you have some more space here so two type c usb sockets there two type c usb sockets here and this again here is a very cavernous space and you have a tray inside you have this little ashtray and there is absolutely no dearth of space in the middle and not just that the glove box also is very beautifully made and there is ample space inside the glove box as well now for this class the 15 speaker 710 watt burmester system is absolutely smashing and sounds absolutely mind blowing you also get this really beautiful panoramic sunroof and the control for the panoramic sunroof is unlike some other cars and you just have to swipe like this to turn it on or off and let me just take it all the way back you can also push this button here but you can also swipe it and as you can see it opens up the skies to you and goes all the way back right behind uh, the second seat 
Now while you would want the glass panel up front to go all the way back, it does not and it opens only for ventilation. To bring it back, just hit this button or you can just slide your finger as well and the blinds will come all the way back. The controls for the front lights is also very nicely done and you just have to touch the lights themselves to turn them on and the control for the rear lights is also here. And then apart from that, both passenger and the driver get an illuminated vanity mirror. The headliner is of top quality and of course you get an auto dimming RVM as well. Now the seats are fantastic. The dashboard has beautiful leather upholstery and the seats are finished in leather as well. And the headrest here can be adjusted according to how far back you want it. So that again is a great bit of adjustability that's available to the driver. On top of all of that, the steering wheel is fully electric and that again is a luxury feature. On top of that, all the buttons which are not on the screen are capacitive and they are feather touch. So they are super easy to use and such is the case on the steering wheel also. Now here, as I mentioned, you can browse through all the different modes very very easily just like that and the controls for cruise control as well as the other controls like telephony are also capacitive so as you can see i'm increasing the volume right now and the screen can be controlled using the buttons on the left and the instrument console can be controlled using the buttons on the right all of those features apart the interior itself reeks of quality and finesse and things like that silver panel right in front of the armrest looks like it's a piece of art it looks metallic although it's made of plastic but everything has been finished really really beautifully and this cabin really stands out amongst its peers now let's have a look at the salient features of this beautiful 11.9 inch touchscreen as well and some of the controls are here it also comes with a fingerprint scanner and this can be used to personalize your settings and the moment you scan your fingers the settings in terms of uh, the ambient light and all the other personalized settings will be applied and that's all you have to do to get the car to your favorite settings. So that's fantastic and all the car settings can be brought onto the screen with a hit on this little button here. This thing here brings the 360 degree camera on it. It's a high resolution, super clear camera and it's really, really fantastic. So absolutely no complaints with the camera whatsoever. This car also comes with inbuilt 3D navigation so that following the directions is real easy. The climate controls are all here and they are really easy. It comes with two zone climate control. It also comes with a two stage filter which detects and reduces NOx and carbon dioxide along with PM 2.5 particles. Obviously it comes with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay in wireless format. Now this entire screen is tilted slightly towards the driver by 6 degrees for uh, easy visibility and easy access and apart from that you can uh, connect your phone with your car using the Mercedes me app and it offers you a whole suite of functions which make it a properly connected car now this screen and all these controls may come across as slightly overwhelming if you're using it for the first time but, but trust me it's very intuitive and very very easy to use time now to get to the back seat and see how much space do we have there and what are the unique features and what features are missing let's get there so just like the front, you have high quality materials on the top half of the door panel. This is leather, this is soft to touch. Again, beautifully finished panel here and ample space for a water bottle in the door panel itself. You also get these blinds to protect you from the sun and the seat height is also near ideal, very easy to get inside. And as you can see, the headroom here is very, very generous. And even if you're six feet or above, you would not find your head brushing with the roof at all. Here you have the reading light and the grab handle along with a coat hook there's this really nice wide armrest where are the cup holders you just have to press this and then press this again to bring out the cup holders and then you can put this inside when you are done with having your cuppa you have three individual headrests and you have three individual three point seat belts along with isofix child seat mounts you have rear ac vents although there is no separate zone for climate at the rear you have this little standee here for your cell phone or wallet and you have these two type c usb sockets which are painted in the ambient color of your choice now there obviously is a transmission tunnel and 
This being a premium luxury car is not suitable for carrying five people, but two people can sit here in supreme comfort. And while there is sufficient thigh support here, the seat back angle is slightly more vertical than desired for me. It could have been slightly more reclined also. This being a premium car, I would have really appreciated had the seat back been reclinable or adjustable for the backrest angle which is not a feature that's available on this car the front seat backs are scooped out and you also have the space here for your magazines or newspapers or any other documents and there is ample amount of knee room ample amount of leg room and the space here is not a problem but as i mentioned before i would rather sit behind the steering wheel than here because when the roads get rough there is a bit of vertical movement to be felt at the back seat and this is not the most comfortable of the back seats in terms of suspension at least. Now there is no denying the fact that the three-pointed star has an allure of itself and among all the cars in this segment there are different cars which have their own highlights and lowlights and to talk about them specifically the M40i, the BMW X3 is a fantastic car to drive. The Volvo XC60 comes with a beautiful suite of ADAS features. Then the Discovery Sport has an additional set of two seats. But if you talk about the GLC, it really is the best overall package in terms of the features that it provides, the kind of brand value this car has, and also now the kind of space that it provides on the inside. The prices have not been announced yet, but irrespective of the prices, I'm pretty sure that once this car hits the market, it's going to create a storm because the kind of interior that it has, the kind of performance that it has and the kind of allure the brand has is quite unmatched in the market and most of the people within this segment are going to find this car very, very attractive as I did as well. So if you're going to be buying in this segment, I can strongly recommend that you go ahead and take a test drive of the petrol or diesel versions of this car and see for yourself what really makes the GLC so special. I really hope that I was able to encapsulate all the information that you needed about this car in this detailed review. If you like such long format detailed videos, do hit the like button, subscribe to Motroids and until next time, this is your friend Amit Changani signing off, Rev Hard, Rev Free and Drive Safe.